Hey traders, Roggy here, and in this update, we're going to talk about how we futures trade. This could be micro, this could be mini, 830 high impact, high volatility economic releases, otherwise known as hot zones, right? These high impact events that create volatility that if they move to certain zones in the chart, we can fade. So first of all, what's a fade? Fade is seeing support and resistance in a neutral market, ideally. And when we get up to resistance, we look to see if there's a sell or short sell set up. And if we get down to support, we look to see if there's a buy, a long setup. And that's the way we look at those exhaustion levels. And that's, that's a fade. Now, the idea that the PCE could move the market, that's an easy one. Because the Federal Reserve, that is their pet inflation number. That's what they're going to lean on. That's what they're going to use when they are referring to what's happening to inflation. They're not looking at CPI, not really. They're focusing and using CPE to justify their view of inflation and therefore to lean on that if and when they do change their monetary policy messaging and ultimately maybe their action as well. So we wanna trade that. There's gonna be some volatility. So this means that around 8.20, I start looking for where these zones are currently sitting and I start placing limit orders in front of the economic event. Now, let me mention something here. This is very, very, I'll say risky, defined by the fact that we're looking at a high impact event and that stops can move can be blown through quickly and that volatility could be very high. So micros, if this is uh, a time that you've never traded before, fewer contracts, micro contracts, please think risk first. So the two markets that I had in focus were the NASDAQ and the S&P. Both had bearish sentiment and we gauged that based on levels on the daily. And both would have ideally been shorts. So when I started looking for opportunities in front of the 8.30 economic release, I already, were, I already was favoring price action moving up into the red zone and shorting into that. So I like to pick a side and I recommend as a day trader, as any kind of trader that you pick a side. Also, what you don't trade during a high impact macroeconomic data release, anything that's affecting inflation, growth, jobs. Avoid bonds, avoid currencies, avoid gold. Uh, usually the volatility goes especially berserk in those markets and the volatility exhaustion levels are really gonna be pushed to their extremes and lose their validity. So we stick usually with the indices and that's my, my preference, I'll stick with the indices. So that way I'm only looking at two to three ES and QYM futures contracts, which during a time like this is plenty. Ultimately, what we had was the economic event shooting higher, which, which suited me just fine, shot into the zone. This is the NQ, this is the ES. Now I'm gonna do something kind of funny in this video because you're watching a video about this topic and I'm gonna tell you to watch a different video, especially if uh, this is even remotely interesting because what I did this morning and I call them hot zone sessions is I traded this live this morning at the Simpler Trading YouTube channel. You're watching this free video and you can watch that free video as well right at the Simpler Trading YouTube channel. Just look for the P, uh, PCE hot zone session playback. It ran about 25 minutes and it showed you uh, minute by minute analysis uh, evolving, trade, setting up. It showed you the whole process, the tools that I use, what they mean, and, and the trade that I took. Uh, what better, you know, what better way to learn than watching someone do it live? So this is a synopsis of what I did. And a reminder that on a caution day where we have the end of the month, end of the quarter, sometimes the better trades are going to happen before Wall Street can do anything. And that's one of the great privileges of being a futures trader even a Forex trader, but futures, what do we have access to? Almost the entire day, you know, not a 9.30 to four tiny little my comparison session. 
And that's what opens up action between 7 and 9.30, uh, an early pre-market window for day trading for, uh, for us, frankly. And, and I love the fact that we can do that. Now, tomorrow, by the way, is when we begin uh, live trading for the uh, class that I just did. And it's going to start at 9.20 tomorrow, which means you still have time to join me for 9.20 Eastern uh, live trading. You know, watch that video first, by the way. Watch that video and, you know, make sure that kind of trading, the kind of setups I'm talking about resonate with you. If you watch that video and say, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for, check out simplertrading.com forward slash guide. We're starting the first of four live trading sessions. You will also see how important these HPMR zones are to the way that I trade, how important they were to deciding uh, what we were going to do. And these indicators, uh, which is a subscription now, by the way, these are available with the class. So you can have anywhere from 30 days to 60 days or a full year access of updates. And just like implied volatility does change throughout the life of the month and the day, so too do HPMRs. We do have to keep these updated to have levels as accurate as this, okay? Check out the video. Keep that 8.30 hot zone window in mind because we have plenty more coming up as we go into July. And sometimes the cleanest trades are gonna happen before Wall Street even gets a chance to put on trade number one, all right? That is a Futures Traders Park. Thanks as always for watching. Leave any questions, comments, feedback. Just say hi, whatever you like below. Thanks for smashing that like button and I'll see you in the next update. Hey traders, Ragi from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.